Jimbo? Boy? You're a crock of shit. You're a boozed, selfish thug. Why don't you give your mouth a go and in the other hole put a plug? By Christ, you've got a long, long way on a schoolboy's talent with words. One crappy bit of symbolism and you're adored by an army of turds. You're a selfish, rude, arrogant prick. You're basically pretty stupid. Your mysticism's a lump of shit and so are all the girls you've rooted. So don't talk about being sad and lonely or fucking misunderstood because underneath that self-pitying phony is a brutal, selfish hood. I support the police that took you off stage. I support the fact you bled. I support the cops who carried you off. I support the fact you're dead. I think that you're a troubled guy and I think that's nothing new. I think your fans are a bunch of turds almost as immature as you. And when I'm in my supermarket and some prick pushes in front of my trolley, I'll be reminded of your stinking bravado. And I'll ask the cunt to say sorry. You fans would excuse any rudeness just because it comes from you. You'd tell them to go drop dead and they'd say, oh, how true, how true. How true! You need a 9 to 5 job, Jimbo. You need to get to Flinders Street by train. Go find yourself a regular income. Maybe then you can write a song about pain. Try and save for the kids' school fees. Take some care when you drive a car. Put your rubbish in a bin, you fucking great rock superstar. You've spawned a host of cocksure shits who are nearly always filthy rich and think because they're a bit like Jimbo they can act like stinking pricks. An army of brainless arty youth that look down upon us common plods but they barrack for good old Jimbo like the fucking Richmond cheer squad. So when you're listening to Morrison Hotel and Jimbo's in top form whining about this harsh cruel world and the fact he was ever born remember that his fans are wrapped and mourning their suffering lives and go down and discuss it at subterranean at least if daddy will drive jimbo king of the private school kids the girls from plc who identify with his tortured soul because they've been dropped by boyfriend number three who was kent from xavier college and hsc he got an a for english and between jimbo and william blake he hasn't the brains to distinguish jimbo father of a generation of private school depression idols from nick cave on they don't kill themselves they just tell us why they're suicidal. He's made self-pity legitimate. It means we'll have to face one after another artist with integrity like Ario Speedwagon. Sorry, I meant Hugo Race. Well, up your ass, Jimbo, old man. Up your fucking hole. You're a prick, pure and simple. It's about time, you were told. And up your ass to all your fans. Up your ass to your tortured, artistic hell. And while we're fucking at it, up your ass to Morrissey as well. Up your ass to Robert Smith. Up your ass to Albert Camus. All those I'm suffering for my art types, Jimbo. I blame them all on you. Anyone who handles life's pain with a token of mature self-examination. It's time they told these punces to stick it up their bogus self-infatuation. And if you think I'll stop at this, the answer is no way, never. If you think Jim Morrison was a wanker, well Christ, I can rave on like this forever. <laughs>